Hello, this video is going to be about how to perform an ACR Weekly Phantom for an MRI machine. This is a Siemens machine. So you see right here, you have your name, which is the Phantom. It takes four minutes. We're going to start with the three-plane scout. It's going to take it's coming up now the time about how much it would take to perform this how long so about a minute for the three plane scout I'm going to go ahead and pull up the sagittal localizer so after that is done running the sagittal localizer will come up and this is just how it looks everything looks nice and centered so i'm not going to move anything i'm just showing you how it's looking centered and then i hit go and then the acr t1 will run after that one So this one's going to take about 50 more seconds. So I'm just showing you how everything looks, how the Phantom is looking right now. Before you start, you want to make sure that you have it aligned perfectly and leveled out correctly. Because if not, you will see that the Phantom pictures will be kind of twisted or angled. It's almost done running about 10 more seconds. Okay, so this is how it's going to look whenever that one is done. Now we're doing an ACR phantom or sequence. Where that triangle is meeting, this is where I want my yellow solid line so i'm trying to get it in the center where the triangle is meeting at and then just center it and then i'm checking my other pictures okay i'm going to run that one This one will take a little bit longer, two minutes. So I'm just showing you how everything is looking while that is running. And then while that is running, you can be doing other things. You can look at your QA, QC paper of what you have to document, which will be coming up in just a second. I will show you how that looks. So this is how the form looks. Make sure you put your date. Check and make sure everything is accurate. Your center frequency. That's the phantom form. Your gain, you'll put it right there. We'll put the information right here for the sagittal localizer. All your spokes, artifacts your initials, any notes that you have. So this would be done weekly. Still have a minute left. You can do a lot in two minutes. So that's why I said you can do other things while you're waiting for this to be um, finishing up. So now I'll show you how the other pictures look, your tabs you have, exam, viewing, filming, 3D, different tabs on this scanner.
Um, put in the comments if you perform QA or QC a lot at your job. This is 15 seconds left. Or put in the comments if you're PRN and you don't have to perform it. Okay, so now this is coming up. This is how it's looking. You want to get to the good images. You have your spokes. You can window and level it if you want to. I see about 10 spokes. I'm just showing you how this is looking. And we'll take it to the 3D card and I'll show you how to measure everything. So now you want to do your weekly numbers and write those down. So I'll show you how to get to that. And I'm just making up a date. I didn't do it on this date I'm writing. This is just me making up a date. So just put a date. Check if everything is accurate. Now I'll show you how to find the sense of frequency and the gain. So I like to pull this down again, but don't run it. Double click on it. And then you go to options. Adjustments. If you don't pull that down, it's not going to let you click on adjustments. And then right here, you see everything about your frequency under this tab. So you just write down your numbers. I'm just showing you different numbers. So I'll just write it down. Sorry for the background noise. Now your game, the MRI machine makes a lot of noise. So your transmitter, write down your numbers. You see how it says receiver gain at the bottom. Okay, we'll do this on in the next video. I'll show you how to measure that in those. So this is how you will set it up before you start. You want to take your, um, to level it right there. Make sure that bubble is in the middle and leveled. And I'm just doing this with one hand, so just for the sake of this video. But I'm just showing you how you will make sure that it is leveled. Don't let it roll off. You can use this to stabilize it. Thank you all for watching.